Uh, yes. The question is, is it sort of similar when you, you want to retire, you're ready to retire, and then you get into retirement and you think, oh, this isn't what I thought it was? Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, a lot of times we think, and I mean, I'm not near retirement age, but some days I think, I wish I was retired. I would sleep in every day, and I would watch trashy TV shows, and I would read for pleasure. And if I wanted to go to the movies in the middle of the day, I would. On a Wednesday at 11, I would, and people would look at me and judge me, why isn't she at work? And I would love it. I think that would be fabulous. And then I realized after about two days, I wouldn't really find that very fun anymore. And so that, that's often what happens because we have these ideas of, I could do this, or I could do this, I could do this. And then we find, well, that costs money or that really isn't as fulfilling as I thought it would be. Or, you know what, I don't have anything to do with my time. Or, I really miss my coworkers. I don't, all my friends are at work right now and I don't have anyone to hang out with. And so, that's a lot of what I study. Um, I talk to people that are thinking about retirement and I say, well, what are you gonna do with your day? Because it's really important to have some place to go to do something, you know, join a book club or, or go to a class or at least go to the gym and use your membership. And I talk about, well, what are your friendships like? Because a lot of times we think we have a lot of friends and friends are really good. But sometimes when we leave that job, we find out that we didn't really have friends. They threw you a party when you left and they bought you a cake and they signed you a card and you promised to be friends, you know, and have lunch. And then you don't really do those things. Or maybe you have 600 Facebook friends and you think, I'm, I'm popular, I have so many friends, and they all write happy birthday to you on your birthday wall, but they don't really care about you so much. They're just acquaintances. And so those sort of things, when you leave work, those sort of settle in. So my research um, tries to figure out, well, what can you do to address those issues? Um, what can you do to make sure that you have real friendships so that you don't get depressed? Um, do you have structure in your life? Do you feel like you have a purpose for living once you don't have that job? So yeah, it, it can be sort of like that whole part of depression. This isn't what I really thought I was getting into.